refugee is named Freddie Adu. Ten months ago, he made his debut as a professional soccer player, pulling down a record salary of $500,000 a year. Not bad for a 14-year-old. But Freddie has been offered even bigger money. And here's why. Freddie Adu can do just about anything he wants with a soccer ball, including fake much older players right out of their cleats. People who know say that he could develop into the best player, not just in America, but in the entire soccer mad world. I just love it so much, you know? When I'm out there in the field, I'm in a whole different world, you know? It's like, I'm just having so much fun. So you get paid all that money to have to fun? To have fun, yeah. Wow. I mean, couldn't ask for a better life, man. <laughs> well, hold up, hold up. It does look like a charmed life. Half a million dollars a year to play for DC United, the team he grew up watching. There you go. At an age when most kids are begging their parents for a higher allowance, he's got a million dollar contract with Nike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's it. That's cool. And another endorsement deal with Pepsi. Nice! We think he's gonna be a great one. Bruce Arena is the most influential figure in American soccer. See if you can get 10 passes. Coach of the men's national team, that will compete for the World Cup in 2006, a team Freddie hopes to make. What is it in his play that makes everybody who knows what they're talking about say, oh, wow? He's strong, he's quick, he's agile, he's got good balance, he's got great vision. It's very special. Freddie learned the game as soon as he learned to walk in his native Ghana in West Africa. There was no coaches, no one to tell you what to do. It's just you play and learn stuff on your own. You see him always holding a soccer ball. It was during those early days in Ghana that Freddie's mother, Amelia, first encouraged her soccer prodigy. My mom was always the supplier of soccer balls, and uh, <laughs> so people were always knocking on my door trying to get me out so we can play. Freddie's street soccer days ended in 1998 after his parents entered a visa lottery at the U.S. Embassy in Ghana. How old were you when you came here? I was eight years old. Was it scary? Yes, and sad. I didn't even have a ball when I first came. I didn't even have a soccer ball, so it was, it was hard. Life got even harder. After they settled near Washington, D.C., Freddie says his father just abandoned the family one day. Do you ever see him? No, I don't see him. He's completely out of the picture now. Amelia, suddenly the sole breadwinner for Freddie and his younger brother, worked two jobs to make ends meet. She would wake up at 5 in the morning, leave at 6, go to work. She's done. She gets off work at 6 o'clock, you know, at, at, in the evening to go to an overnight job. She worked, I mean, unbelievable amount of hours, you know. Meanwhile, Freddie's soccer skills were noticed on the playground, and he was recruited for a local league team. In less than a year, he was the best player on an all-star team. Playing with kids four and five years older than he was. One of the big uh, soccer teams in Europe, actually an Italian team, mm -hmm. didn't they offer you a big, huge amount of money to come and play for them? Yeah. How um, much was it? Do you remember? It was uh, $750,000 um, to uh, play for Inter Milan. And how old were you then? I was 10. Oh, my gosh. Your mother said no. She said no, you know, and, and... Were you upset? Did you want to do that? <laughs> no, I wasn't upset, but it was just so much money. I was just well, like, exactly. why not just take it? But you know what? She was looking out for our well-being. Eventually, his mom did agree to let Freddie attend a kind of soccer boarding school in Florida run by the U.S. Soccer Federation. He became a citizen and officially joined the U.S. under-17 team. I see you third period for your quiz. Oh, that's right. You got your chem quiz. But before his professional debut, Freddie's mom insisted on one more thing, that he complete an accelerated academic program for athletes in Florida. Does it sink or does it float? That allowed him at 14 to finish high school. Are there any ways in which this kid is still able to be a kid? What kind of teenage things, 14-year-old things, do you do? Play a lot of PlayStation. And always trying to look pretty for the girls. I'm trying to remember what we did when I was 14. Spin the bottle. That <laughs> We've kind done of stuff. that, man. We actually just did that last month. <laughs> crazy. Open it up a bit. What's really crazy 
are the expectations being heaped on Freddie. You hear that he's the next Pele, that he'll be the youngest player ever in a World Cup, that he'll finally make America as mad about soccer as the rest of the world is. With the first pick in the first round, DC United picks Mr. Freddie Adu. On draft day, the number one pick may not have measured up to Major League Soccer's other top rookies. God, I'm so small, you guys are so big. But his half million dollar salary dwarfs even the veterans. It's become a cliche that every rookie with a big contract buys his mama a house. Freddie Adu may be the first one ever to do it and then go home and live with her. I wanted to get us a place of our own with a little bit more space. The kitchen is just huge because my mom is, she lives there, man. She loves being in the kitchen. She and, a good cook? Oh, she, oh my goodness. She could be the best cook ever, man. Um, but is she working anymore? She doesn't work anymore. She's done. She's, she's had enough. You know, she's worked so hard. What I know of Mrs. Adu is she is pretty sharp. And uh, she's done a very good job in, in corralling Freddie a bit, not letting his head get too big. What's your name? Mike. He's going to need help to keep his head from swelling. Please say hello to Freddie Adu, everyone. You know you're a star when you're on Letterman at an age when most kids aren't allowed to stay up late enough to watch Letterman. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Still, the real test of how Freddie will deal with the spotlight and the pressure will come on the soccer field. They say that there's a bullseye on your back sometimes. When yeah. You play. He's going to have one on his back, on his chest, on his forehead, on his legs. I don't have to prove myself to, 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 to any of those guys that, oh, that I'm better than them. I'm just going to go out there and play, man. How are you going to get to practice? Because you're 14 and you don't drive Actually, I, I don't know. I don't know. My mom's probably going to have to take me back and forth. And that's exactly what happened. His mother drives Freddie to practice, the only quiet time they have together, she says. Freddie, now 15, had a good first year with DC United. He played in every match during the regular season, and the team won the Major League Soccer Championship. 